Photography? No, vlogger. <laughs> Too advanced, the bezel is Tiffany stamp. No grip on my hand. I know that I came with the slide from left to right, but now I don't want to dance. I got too much on the line, too much on my mind, too much ain't enough of my plans. Nike don't pay me to tell you, just do it. They pay me to show you I do it again. Huh? Yeah, I'm in control of the blood. You know how October get hot. Let me make this kids go pop. The grip is over the top. The whip is over the top. I thought about letting her go. I wasn't over. I can't be pale in my casket, make sure I die with a tan, it's part of the brand I know that I came with a slide from left to right, but now I don't wanna dance Can't I depend on a man, I slide some bread in the jam, that's just who I am Custom just waving at us from the window, they don't even come on the play when we land Anyone else will retire, but I'm not content I wanna bury these niggas like 20 feet down, so no one can find them again It's gotta be scary to witness we carry these niggas around in both of my hands They stay inviting me over, they say they got bitches, I get there and then it's just them Got rich from the boy in the elite, he sent me a new one, so he's instead Everything good when he live in the house, got shit in me for a bed Can you imagine the shit that I seen? I went from the road to South Point Green The bridge got brain is shattered, I'm climbing, I don't need a ladder New year, it's new chapter Start snap at even snapper She on the fuck out of anger Back in the days, life was so hard And pal, I'm trapped in backyards I didn't even know about boyard I just said, my can you bank part? Remembering days in the courtyard I came from trap at nights Trap with bugs in the trap She on the spell the facts Yeah, yeah I can't sell my ass I got cheese in my bag My shooters think it's tag She on the buy me a tag BM Text me, though 10 I her like Messi Take the Draco, please get messy Took a lot on girls like Nellies I was locked, no answer to Sellies No change on my lines like Sellies This tech nine hold many Lucky told me don't trust many Got an anger, back in the days Life was so hard and pal, I'm trapped in backyard I didn't even know about Boyard I just said, man, can you bank her? Remembering days in the courtyard I came from trap at Nats Trap with bugs in the trap She wanna spell the facts yeah, yeah, I can't sell my ass I got cheese in my bag My shooters think it's tag She wanna buy me a tag BM, text me Though 10 I hurt like Messi Take the drink off, please get messy Took a lot on girls like Nellies I was locked, no answer to Sellies No change on my lines like Sellies This tech nine hold many Lucky told me don't trust many gang. The level is just too advanced The bezel is Tiffany stamp No grip on my hand I know that I came with the slide from left to right But now I don't wanna dance I got too much on the line Too much on my mind Too much ain't enough for my plans Nike don't pay me to tell you Just do it They pay me to show you I do it again Huh? Yeah, I'm in control of the blood You know how October get hot Let me make this kids go pop The crib is over the top The whip is over the top I thought about letting her go I wasn't over the top Hey girls, so I'm finally leaving the house today Um, most knuckles had invited me to their grand opening at Lennox Mall, so I'm just gonna show my face. Never know who you're gonna meet, but if it's anything that I think it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be like the MTM grand opening. Um, what the? F why is <laughs> but yeah, they just had like a live DJ the last time, and then um, you got to view products and like a couple cocktails. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pop in and out and then I just want to go get, um, I want to see something at Zara and I do want to see something at Sephora as well. 
So, but oh my God, y'all, look at my blush. I don't know if you can see it from here. But I have on this Peri Peria. Um, it's a ink velvet. It's like a lip tint, but you can use it on your lips, your cheeks, and your eyes. And I have it on my cheeks and my eyes. Girl, you need this. Like, it looks so good. It's like a subtle, like, everyday, effortless blush. Yeah, I guess I'll see y'all once I get there. We'll see the vibes. <laughs> And there's a lot of events going on this weekend, so I'm going to be busy. Um, I was busy today because I organized um, underneath my cabinet. Yeah, girl, I just had to organize my house. I came from working out. Um, and in, I don't know. No, I did not talk about this in a vlog. But yesterday, I had a full organizing organization day in my house that's why i was doing the whole um kennel thing under the um sink and stuff but i had to cave in and find laundry services y'all i just have to protect my peace and just come to the terms like i don't have time to do laundry like i just don't like um so i googled hamper um, so I went on Google and I was like, who can do my laundry? Like, laundry services ASAP. Like, my laundry, I have two baskets of laundry piled up high mountains. <laughs> Let's just get this situated. So, I do wash my own towels, but um, I just let them wash my clothes and stuff. And I had organized it, like, delicate, lights, darks, and I think it was, like, a mixed load. Um, and on the app, it's called Hamper. Um, I don't know if y'all are familiar, but she's on her way to drop them off and they literally clean your clothes within 24 hours. So we'll see how this comes. She was like, is this your first time? And I was like, yes. Um, but I think they take the clothes to their house and clean them, which is like, I don't know. I thought it was like a, like a facility where they had like Washington dryers. Um, but I don't know. We'll see how this turns out or whatever. I had to give her my clothes in ghetto garbage bags. So, um, Caddy, because I had to bring them downstairs to her in this thing too. And I got this off Amazon. Um, but it's so easy to use. I use this to bring up groceries or anything like that. And then they have this little thing in the middle of it. But I'm about to go meet her, so we'll see how this turns out. She should be pulling up now. Okay, y'all. Uh, well, I'm not that damn ghetto because they came back in garbage back too. <laughs> so, anyways, um. So this is how they're supposed to come. Um, they're supposed to like fold them and just be ready to put away. So all I have to do is just put it away. So I'll be tending to this later. I have a lot of work to do. But yeah, I'm just so happy I got clean clothes and I don't gotta worry about it no more. But yeah. Wow, she really stuffed the... Um, so yeah cool everything's folded so i'm just super happy about that because there's clothes that i wore like months ago that just weren't the only thing that's weird about that is that they take it to their house um so i don't know i told my mom was like she was like i see you got laundry services and i was like Yes, I did. I had to. I don't have time for it. Next is probably a cleaning lady. But I'll probably do that later on when I like have like a huge house with like multiple bedrooms for real. Um, but yeah, I see why people look into services because a girl that's just, ah! Cause a person that's just busy and on the go, I can imagine if I had kids. So I give it to y'all. I give y'all y'all kudos. You can't work in a mess. I just can't do it. So 
so I have to keep my house clean. And then by the time I have to clean my house, I gotta work. So I just can't do more. But yeah, I'm about to just sip on some green juice and then go over to the coffee shop to get my video edited for the day. So. Hey girl, so it's a little later. Y'all, I was really so uncomfortable at La Bonnage. Um, normally you gotta you definitely gotta get there early if you wanna go see. I, I literally played myself um because I was literally dragging it, but it was so busy in there. But I had a nice little matcha and lunch or whatever, but ugh, I just hate not being in my spot. And freaking Jack was reading a book. Okay, so there was just there's their seating in there is weird like they got like tables and stuff like it's like a long table so if somebody is at the same table as you with like multiple chairs you just feel like you're invasive in their space or you feel like they being invasive in your space or it's weird but they got these two they got one area where it's like a little booth or whatever so you're very like isolated by yourself and then on the side with all the chairs they have two booths where i like to say it's like a little nice little cushion on a booty um so yeah i'm really relaxed in there but this girl was in there she had the spot and then this guy was in there reading a book i'm like okay like it's cool and all but the girl had to move from the spot because somebody a worker came up to her and was like hey can you like um uh, make room because this lady and her daughter was trying to sit down but she didn't want to sit by me and then the other half of the table was reserved so it's like okay where can you sit and then she came by me and she was like she was like, do you mind me sitting by you? And I was like, oh, yeah, I don't care. And then I was like, oh, you're you're not leaving because you're making space. She's like, yeah. She's like, I kind of feel bad, though, because there's like they're like really busy. And like that guy over there, he's been here for a minute now. And I'm just like, I believe it. Like this nigga is really just sitting here reading a book. But I mean, you can't tell people what to do with their time. But damn, my nigga, like you've been here for a while how many chapters you gonna read so anyways i'm just i don't like being out in the open especially when i'm editing i don't like when i feel like people are looking at me in my screen no can't do it so i'm on my way to this other coffee shop it's low key though and she they got benches there where i like to sit down so i just like to be comfortable when i edit so i'm going there and then after i gotta go to perimeter mall because y'all know that green jacket that y'all so love it came back in stock and i had ordered it a while ago um and like a bigger size so it's like more oversized on me um, the one I have right now is a small. I'm probably going to sell it to one of the grubs. So if y'all interested, DM me. I just had an update, y'all. Because if you're trying to go to La Banda, you're not trying to have like a cute little office editing day, get there early so you can get your spot. Okay? Ew. I'm dying over here, y'all. Um, I haven't vlogged since yesterday. But I did re-up on the Fenty skin. So good. This is the cinnamon one. I'm literally dying, y'all. Like, I'm not gonna let y'all see my I'm not gonna let y'all see my full body because I'm naked. Um we went out last night and it was a time. It was really fun. I need to wash this makeup off and I need to get my life together. Oh God, like I, if I could let stay laying down, I definitely would, but so I'm taking a liquid IV. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully this gives me the kick I need. Gotta have the glass drawn. <clears throat> and yeah, I'll probably talk to y'all later. I'm currently dying, I'm sorry. I'll check with y'all later. Hey okay, y'all, so I'm getting ready for the day, finally. And, okay, so obviously I told y'all I went to Sephora. And this was a Tower 28 product. 
this is supposed to be like a rescue facial spray it's supposed to help with inflammation i believe and it's supposed to help you have healthy and renewed skin y'all probably seen this on TikTok. And right now, I since I slept in my makeup, I have a little bit of redness. Y'all see? So, we're gonna try this out. Um, it's perfect time, so we'll see. It don't smell like nothing. So we'll see what this gives, but I have to finish my skincare routine and then head to the nail shop so i'll check with y'all later and i'm gonna let y'all know how i think this product is let's get to it literally I would try that, but I hate lychee. Thank you so much. You don't you like do. lychee? No, I took you that like a long time ago. Can I? Um, oh, I think that's what you got me. I'm more drinky. Thank you so much. Here, everybody. That caviar I looks want. insane. Okay, I'm gonna try Twitter Star Star for the first time. Yeah, same. But I feel you on that though, Crystal. Same. Wait, are we cheers now? Let's I hope on. so. Are we? Yeah. All right, let me do this. Oh my God. Lunch the proper way. <laughs> Literally. Oh, God. oh shit. All right. Sorry. I need a little arm candy. Let me know when you guys are ready. Put it in closer. Come closer. Guys. Okay, so let's Cute. I did pictures. Did you, did you pictures? do a video? I did pictures. Yeah, I did pictures. Okay, let's and my just hand do that one more time. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Because I'm more. trying to make a TikTok too. <laughs> Okay, ready? I hate this life for Cheers. us. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I just poured juice all in the tuna sauce. That's oh my fine. God. It'll give it some, some frazzle dazzle. What it's happened to my like straw? Listen, the caviar is. Did I give you. Did I give me Is there another straw on the table? I could have swung it. Oh, I might have. Hold on. Yes, yeah, right here. Okay. Yeah, I probably Thank did. You. No, you're fine. I took. I have one. Okay. Um, all right, Kyrie, you gotta let us know. Let me try the tuna sauce. So you only get four chips. Okay. Okay. Y'all, this would it look like. So you only get four <laughs> She's like, what the hell? How's that? Uh -uh. Right. Oh, so you take it with the fork. Okay. No, I'd rather get all the flavor with the fork. Because, you know, the cheese. Wow. Maybe I shouldn't get a thick slice. You should really get the juice because it's like lemony, probably lemony. Uh, the juice, or, uh, or get the spicy. Do it like this. Mm. Okay, hold on. No, it's good. It's crazy how, even though this is on there, I don't really taste it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so good. It is sweet. Because I had two fresh margaritas. Like, I had two. That looks good. Let me see. I'm trying to like yeah. cover up the. Did stuff. you order anything else, Kyra? Yeah, the Brussels sprouts. Oh. The Brussels sprouts. Hey, y'all. So, I'm getting ready to go for a e, uh, Friendsgiving. I have two Friendsgiving to go to today. One is from X Saw XO. Um, they are like a feminine wash brand. I'm pretty sure you heard. heard. I'm trying to figure out what to wear tonight. It's cold, y'all. Um, should I do this Louis scarf? But with what cold? Like, cause after 
all the events or whatever, we're going to go to, um, do I have a black? Oh, I guess I can wear my Balenciaga. Well, I'm going to the Soul XO one first, and then I'm going to go to the, the second one, which is for, um, Jada and Pretty Little Thing. I really need to, I can't think right now because I don't want to be late, so I'm trying to hurry because yeah i don't want to be late because i'm always tardy to things but if i'm like five minutes late that should be okay but um she said on the invite be there at eight sharp oh my god good thing i did not put no pants on yet i guess and it's at five churches me and Aaliyah are gonna go to that together i think um but she's meeting me there and then um, her friend Crystal, as y'all seen, um, was in town. She's super sweet. So happy I got to meet her in person finally. Um, we just went to lunch earlier at Lake Colonial. And I had the tuna tartare for the first time, as y'all seen. And it was really good. And I meant to come home to take a nap. But like I said earlier in the vlog, I think I had to go pick up a jacket from Zara because... I thought I wanted to wear it today, but I don't think I am. So I'm going to talk to y'all once I get to the event. We're going to make it on time. The event is 30 minutes away, so I do have to leave like 30 minutes in advance. So I'm just going to hurry. Not going to do too much with the makeup today. <sighs> so... But I still want to be cute, you know? Because you never know who's going to be there. You just never know what's going to happen. And then I don't want to stay out late because I got a cycle bar class in the morning that I want to go to. Got to get back to that. And also, I want to start core power yoga. Um, I was looking at this girl's TikTok today. And they have weights in their class. So, and y'all know I love yoga. So, let me know if you ever tried core power yoga. Let me know. That's a girl now. Because I really don't want to wear heels. Because the place we're going to after, um, it's like an activity place. But I definitely want to be warm. For sure. Because it's so cold. So this is my look for tonight. I have on this Louis hoodie, Louis bag, cargoes, Bottega boots. Um, the dress code is casual fly. So this a do, this a do, you know, and I'm warm. So it's cool. I think it's appropriate. It's cute. So I guess I'll see y'all when we get there. Don't mind the mess up in here because girls been on the move. I'm feeling vibes on vibes. I'm a ticking dynamite. I blow your candle lights. You know I'm just that type. No, them no fit kill my vibe. Them no fit kill my vibe. No fit kill. Them no fit kill. Them no fit kill my vibe. Why is my step? Full of the stars. Yeah, you shall find them. Be so bad fight. If you hit your enemies, enemies shine. If you're not a friend of me, enter the light. But you can never kill my vibe.
Now we're going to eat and enjoy the drinks. And now, now we can turn up the bosses here.
Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Getting ready to go to my psycho bar class. Um, it's hip hop Sunday. Um, it's a pretty packed class today. Normally, it's like medium packed, but today it's like pack pack. It's only a few seats left, so I'm about to get ready for that. But I want to show y'all what I got from Zara. And oh my gosh, y'all, last night was so much fun. It was definitely a vibe. I definitely missed the pretty little thing one because first of all, the Salt XO um event was in um Decatur. It was like 30 minutes away from the city. I wasn't gonna make it because that event ended at 10, but the vibes, um, and it was a good networking event. I'm I met so many awesome people and it was a great night. They let us come home with the Slather Topicals Exfoliating Body Serum, which I love. Y'all gotta get on this. So good. And then she gave us her Yoni Gel Fives Bacteria. Gently neutralizes odor, helps maintain a healthy pH. Feminine wash of mini one. And yeah, so. Okay, so the first thing I told y'all from Zara, I got that same jacket but I wasn't I wanted to see how the bigger size looked on me even though the small is fine I still want to see that the difference I have enough fucking toes A little bit better because I think this belt will stay on better. So um, I'm gonna ask Michaela, does she want my other one? But if she doesn't, y'all can get the other one if you care wear small. But me, I'm I wear small, so and it's like it's not that fitted, but it's fitted. And also for the holiday, what would y'all want me to give away? Like, what is something um, that? Y'all would want me to give away a whole bunch of other stuff. And oh my god, y'all, I'm the worst. Why did I go get two more fenties? So I have five in total, five in my little stock. Cause this is limited edition. Like she probably might not come out with this um after the holiday season. So I definitely want to use this Fenty butter drop all year round. So I got two more girl. Um they only have one more left to three more left at Perimeter Mall. And I grabbed two in the left one. <laughs> And then I got some more of the Unseen um, Super Goop sunscreen. And then I got these parachute pants from Zara. The last thing. Oh, actually, no, that's not the last thing. So I also got this Kapari inspired bag from Zara. It was only $50. Um, so got this bag too. Just for like a little, you know, a little shum, a little abstract, different type of shape, type of bag just to throw on when I'm, you know, want to be in a different vibe. And then last thing I got was a new Zara perfume. I smelled this waiting in line. It's a universal oud. And this smells like something. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells like a luxury perfume and it's only $40. Uh, this is probably like next level Ebony Woods, but like more musky. If you like oud scents, this might be the scent for you. I just got this for layering. I like Zara perfumes only to layer. I don't wear them on its own, but this smells so good. I'm about to just get ready for my class hydrate and I have to do Sunday reset. I have to work. I have to film and edit and then I need to take out my iPad and really plan out next week. So I have a lot to do today and I also got to film some Instagram stories. So let's get this Sunday started. <laughs> No. 
female vlogger. Good to see you again. I made it today. I know, I see you, man. Good job. Alright, so we are getting shout out. Anybody? 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 An
it. It's, it's probably too many fucking calories. 300 calories. No. It's honey bun. Honey bun. Nah. Let me just take a picture. All my friends have ate it. All of them, like, it's not bad. Like, it's not what you think. It looks terrifying, but it's literally nothing of that sort. I swear. You will not regret it. <laughs> yeah, super tight. Are you won't regret it? I don't know why. I think because it's red. I don't know. Let me know if y'all ever tried this before and I should just be like, I would try it, you know? But it's really, really good. So you eat it like that? Yeah. Just like straight out the back? Yeah. Okay. It's like kimchi. But I like I mean, my like sushi. I, I can't eat raw sushi. It's I not eat. H Mart has a whole little boutique area. They got an ATC store in here. But anywho, I seen a girl with this on TikTok. But I'm finna show Michaela the magic trick to these little things. So those are kind of cute. I think I will. Oh <laughs> wait. <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> Why are these so soft? This is giving the aesthetic vibes. They don't got that cartoon stuff on it. No faces on it? No. <laughs> Those are so cute. I'm that trying to think so shit up. He was not going to get one. Okay, let's get a, um, what's this shopping cart? It's $20. <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> this is adorable. I like it. I think you should get it. No. Well, so it's been a little bit later since I jumped on camera, but I just been working. I just finished some work, turned in some work. Um, it's about three. Wow, that smells so good. Um, I'm about to take a bath right now because that's what I'm in the mood to do. I've been cleaning and working all morning. I still have one more thing to finish today. That's my goal because tomorrow I know it's gonna be so busy and my battery is dying. Um, but yeah, I'm just about to soak in the bathtub for a little bit, go over what I want to talk about in this next video that I got to record. And I got to go to a friend's giving today anyways um, for an event. So I'm just going to do my makeup early and then work on that video until it's time to head out. But I do need to um, run to the tailor and get my pants. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to do a face mask while I sit in there. So when I get out... My skin is looking good. So I'm just gonna use the Dr. Jar. If you aren't new, you already know. These are my ish. I like Dr. Jar mask. And I'm just gonna use the hyaluronic acid one. Cause my face is kind of dry. I don't know what it's from, but look at my eyebrow. It's like crusty. But my battery is just hating on me, girl. So I'm just gonna put this this mask. Hop in the tub, get out, work some more, and then um, by the time I'm done with everything, it'll be the Friendsgiving dinner event that we're gonna go to. 
Um, I don't know who's going. Um, um, I don't know if I'm going to know anybody. Like I went to the salt thing, the salt XO event, and I actually knew a few people, but I don't know who's going to be at this one because um, it's another private event. But yeah, I'm just super excited to mingle and mix with new people. So yeah. to connect with women on a range of personal topics. We have hand-selected every woman in this room and believe each of you brings something special to this table. This conglomerate of tables. <laughs> um, this is a dynamic group of women and this is a safe space. With your participation, we can ignite good conversations on topics that both connect and separate us as women. All we ask is that you are open, present, and they don't know me, which is most of the room. This is like, now I feel like we had one city where y'all were where I was having. Um, Dear Young Queen started off as my blog. Um, I went through a pretty traumatic moment in my life where I was super depressed. And I kind of got tired of talking about my problems to all my friends that had it all together, who weren't going through it. And I felt like I was the only one complaining. All these badass, powerful women who were advancing their careers, advancing their lives. And I felt super stuck. Um, and so I started writing. Um, I put my writing on Medium and it started growing. All of a sudden I had thousands of reads and I was convinced these were just people on Medium that were reading my blog. Well, it turns out it wasn't. These were women that were finding my stories on social or online and they actually followed me to my website and in turn followed me to my social. Um, and I realized what I had was a community of women who not only supported me, but were finding strength in their own through the stories that I was willing to share. That piqued my interest and kind of doing what a lot of people will say, like toxic shit or putting out toxic memes. But really what it was doing was throwing bait out there to allow women to connect, share with their friends, and then have these conversations that we were tucking down deep down inside. From that, a community has blossomed of badass, dope women. Um, and along that journey, I've been lucky enough to attend some really dope events. Uh, earlier this spring, I was invited to a Fortune and Forks brunch um, and participated in their version of like a, a, a badass female gathering. Um, and I was inspired. I can't have a brand called Dear Young Queen if I'm not willing to reach out to my left and to my, I can't get this right. <laughs> <laughs> and to my right, five cities, I still can't figure out my left and my right. Um, like Naomi and Crystal, to really push my movement forward. Like five years ago now. Um, and the professional resource group is really, for me, it's about sort of power building amongst women of color. Um, it started as a dinner series that we were doing together because we really just wanted to get together and meet and see 
other young women who were killing the game and doing important work. Um, and the response to our first one, and then our second one, and our third one was so great, we were like, I think we have something here, we need to make this a thing. Um, so we grew this from being like just a dinner series to being a real professional resource group. Um, we do everything from resume workshops, uh, therapy workshops, life coaching, uh, hikes, workouts. Um, and we like to make sure that we have these, these like actual sort of professional resources in place, but also we're just getting together to share. You can make friends along your journey, on whatever, everyone in this room is on completely different journeys. Um, you guys will learn a little bit more about each other in a moment. Um, but Crystal and I actually kind of had like different reasons for why we started Forty Their Forks that aligned really well. For me, like I said, it was very much about power building and making sure that we can kind of share resources amongst each other and help each other get where we're going. Yeah, and for me, it was really about just giving women who are on their hustle their roses while they can smell them. A lot of times, these kinds of events are only, or they're aimed at women who are in like C-suite, C-suite um, positions. And uh, I just felt like, you know, at the time, I think we were probably working together so at BT, and we were like, yo, like, there's other women who are out there like us who are also like helping move the needle in, you know, their own fields. And everybody should be able to smell their roses, you know, while they're hustling and not just waiting until you get that position that you're looking for, you know? Yeah. So here we are today at a friend's gaming and like I said earlier, um, my goal is to create safe spaces for women where they can peel back these protective layers. You guys are in one of those spaces today. We want you to show up just like that card says. We want you to be open, we want you to be present. You can connect with other women that are not just your direct circle. I promise you that, and we are on the fifth city where we can now what, prove it, right? We can prove it? Yes. We can prove it, we can prove it. Um, so, we're gonna kick off first. You'll, tonight you'll get a mix of programming from Fortune and Forks events and Dear Young Queen events. So we're gonna go ahead and kick it off with a Fortune and Forks uh, event. Um, yeah, so hopefully everyone finished their intro card by now. Crystal's gonna come around and collect them. And we're gonna have a good time. Let's go! Cheers! 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 Um, it is the brush pouch. Uh, this is the baby to the travel bag. Um, and then we have some goodies inside. I also have a sponge case in here, so don't be throwing your makeup sponges around. Put it in the case. Yeah. Keep it clean. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Crystal, tell us what's in there. Give us the brush yeah. Um, So real quick, so yeah, this is Crystal's uh, travel makeup brush bag. Y'all don't gotta just hear from her. It's amazing. Oh, yeah, I it use really it. Is. I use all of it. Um, and then inside, you'll find um, a Topicals product. Um, Shout out to Topicals. Yeah. Shout out to Topicals. There's an incredible entrepreneur, Ola Media. If you guys don't know her, she's one of our members, been to our events, always supports, and she sent these for all of you. Um, and then you also have this Cositas uh, holder for your um, for your sponge. For your oh, mine and my makeup I'm bag. teaching her about I'm makeup, so y'all. She's like, what's that thing? Oh, uh, no, 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 she, no, she taught me everything I know. Y'all see this face? A miracle. A miracle. Um, yeah, and then lastly, uh, lastly, inside of your bag, what you all are going to have here is a question card. Here at Dear Young Queen, during my events, we have something that we uh, call question time. Each of these questions may be personal, may be based on career, but what it is is something to get you to open up and share a little bit about yourself or your opinion on the matter. We want to use these questions to prompt topic starters amongst the table here tonight. So when you get your bag, pass them on out, y'all. Yo, sir. You're gonna unzip. Agree with you that that topic, just like the job that your parents did to raise you, and what you'll change about that is like sometimes we're gonna change and we're gonna do things different mm -hmm. with no slight or shade. Mm -hmm. We all take a different path. We all have a different perspective, but we're experiencing the same shit. At the beginning, I told you that I started my blog because I felt very alone in a time where I thought that no one else felt me. And I found out that the world of strangers, a whole world full of women, actually felt me, understood me. Um, and I just want you guys to take this experience that you had here tonight and continue to take this out to the world. When you were in the grocery store and you're behind a woman in the grocery store who's fumbling through her purse, Look at her and say, don't you hate it when your purse feels like a black hole? <laughs> right? I want you guys to continue to extend one in school, I guess. Funny they would say, reach one, teach one, maybe. Yeah, right? Each one, teach, each one, one, teach one. one. Right? I want us to continue to do that. Um, Crystal and Nate's activity to you guys here because they've been able to reach out to each of you and build this incredible community that is Fortune and Forks. Um, I want us all to do it.
I don't want us to walk out this room all feeling like the women ahead of us, the women that are in power, the women that we work with are our enemy or are fighting to work against us. In the moments when we find that, we have to do our shadow work. Our shadow work is finding what are our own issues that are causing us to see other women like this. Listen, we're not gonna get along with everybody. We're not gonna agree with everybody, and that's fine. But as long as you can make yourself be, as long as you yourself can be in the mentality, have the mentality and have the emotional maturity to be yourself, to be transparent and to be authentic, it will always connect with another woman somewhere. Mm -hmm. I, again, cannot thank these two ladies enough. I'm gonna let them close out this room because there's so many. What? So I can't believe I just cut my toe. I just broke. I don't know what happened when I got home, y'all. Um, so at the event, they gifted us a Duce bottle because Duce was one of the sponsors. And girl, right when I walk in my house, my Duce bottle, hold on. My Duce bottle broke. It spilled all over my floor. I had glass everywhere. Girl, I can't even show y'all. They had our individual names on the bottle. It was super cute. I couldn't even show y'all. But anyways, the event was so funny. It was so good. Um, Hold on. I'm trying to hold pressure on my toe. And then I cut a little bit off my finger. But it's already like calloused up. But yeah, girl. The event was really nice. Obviously, like I told y'all, I didn't. Oh my god is it bleeding through y'all <laughs> oh my god i can't believe this yeah it's bleeding through fuck this is i need some hold on i need to take care of this because this is really like gushing out blood and then y'all my chanel bag broke because we had to stand up and um when they were introducing us they had like these individual introduction cards but when we had got the introduction cards we had to fill them out and then they gave it to somebody else so somebody else was introducing us and when they were speaking we had to stand up and my fucking bag broke so fucking embarrassing but anywho the event was really nice it was so funny i got to meet a whole bunch of people the girls were down to earth every girl there was just so amazing to me and it was just a nice experience it was definitely different for sure basically the whole subject of the event was to you know have all these women come together from all different fields i was literally like i felt like i was the only youtuber but there were other women in there that did content creation did media people worked for bossip um homegirl worked for bossip another girl made her own perfume another girl um what's it she works for the sports she works in sports and another girl worked in marketing and finance. It was just a whole bunch of different women coming together that I never met before. So it was definitely a different experience. We just let loose, they gave us shots, they gave us food. And then basically from there, um, there was an open <laughs> there was an open conversation in the room where we had got cards with questions on them and we just all had to, you know, say the question out loud and then, you know, just have a group discussion on what was being asked. And I don't know, it was just a different type of experience. It was definitely like a bonding type of thing, but obviously we didn't know them, but it, but <laughs> but y'all know me, but all I'm saying is it was just a nice event to go to, very refreshing. Um it was just, you know, nice to meet new people so and meet some new faces in an a and just have those connections so it was definitely a event so make sure you check out fortune and forts and also dear queens i'll have the instagram um on the screen and also 
um, in the description box so y'all can check them out. And also, they like specialize in things. I think they explained it in the beginning um, on what the company actually is. So, yes. And I got to meet Crystal, Naomi, and Ashley, which are the um, women that came together to put this event together and they basically went on tour they came from miami last night which is so late so they did all of these in all these different cities which i think is pretty dope so so yeah girl um it was definitely but yeah i had fun it was funny um it was definitely just a whole bunch of conversation happening and it was so fun so yeah, I'm glad they invited me. So, anywho, I need to take care of this situation. I can't believe I walked. My back broke tonight. My liquor broke tonight. I'm like, no. I'm in for the night. Um, I actually need to start editing this video that I recorded. But my makeup is beat. She's beat. But, anywho, um, but yeah, I'm just going to wrap up this vlog get my life together and yeah so i'll probably talk to y'all in the next vlog um i'm debating if i want to take my braids out tonight or tomorrow but my braids were kind of hidden today so i don't know if i want to take them out just yet i kind of want to get a picture tomorrow but i have to get up early so i have to work out so anywho I'll see you on the next vlog. I love y'all. Okay. Secured the toe with a little scotch tape. I can't believe this. This is so good. Anyways, y'all. <laughs> this is crazy. I can't believe this. How to update y'all. Good night. <laughs>